Hello everyone, I'm Danny Steven from MakeUseOf.com, and today we'll be taking a look at Geek Tool for Mac. Now this is an application which allows you to add geeklets onto your desktop to make it more functional and prettier. If you've ever used Linux before, it's very similar to Conkey in concept, although in some respects it's easier to set up, and in other respects it's actually about the same. To get Geek Tool, all you need to do is head over to their homepage, click on the download link, and download the latest version. You'll receive a zip folder which you can then extract and then move the resulting application file over to your applications folder. After that, all you need to do is just launch it like this. So this is what Geek Tool looks like. As you can see, it comes with three geeklets by default, namely the file, image, and shell geeklets. And each geeklet can do something different. So you can have a number of these geeklets and a combination of these in order to achieve a desired effect on your desktop. You can also install third-party geeklets, which you can download from online and then double-click to run them. I'll show you what each geeklet does. So the first geeklet we'll take a look at is the file geeklet. Uh, this geeklet will display the contents of any plain text file. So it doesn't matter what file extension it has, no matter if it's uh, TXT or CSV, as long as it doesn't have any weird formatting like a doc file or an Excel worksheet, things like that but you can choose a file from over here and we'll choose our handy dandy to do.txt list and you'll see that it is currently displaying the contents of the file. Change the font color if you would like as well as uh, the font and its size. However, you can see that this specific geeklet is currently acting a little buggy because the contents of the file are shown multiple times and repeated with each change of uh, the font settings. So hopefully they will fix that in the near future. The next geeklet I like to show you is the image geeklet. Now as you can imagine, what this geeklet does is lets you display an image onto your desktop. Now there are a few different settings that you can apply to this. For example, you can actually set a uh, directory for the path and then have the geeklet choose a random image from that directory. You can also change uh, how many seconds it should refresh and therefore switch images. Uh, you can also add a URL instead of a local path so you can have an internet image in this geeklet rather than something that is locally stored. The last geeklet I want to show you is the shell geeklet. What this geeklet does is displays the output of any terminal command that you type into it. This might seem a little boring at first, but when you start thinking about all the different commands that you could use, the possibilities open up very quickly. Because of its nature, the shell geeklet is also the most difficult to use because you need to have a decent amount of knowledge in terminal commands. However, the internet should be very helpful in providing various commands based on what you're wanting to do. So to demonstrate, I'll type in a very simple command right here, which is the cal command. And as you can see, it displays a calendar. Now we can change the font its size and its color to make it more visible and let's move it down here. So as you can see all I had to do was type in cal for the command and I now have a calendar in my geeklet. Now the geeklet is also very useful for other commands such as showing off CPU utilization or memory utilization and in order for that to be even more effective you can set the refresh every x seconds parameter so that the command can refresh every now and then to display the most up-to-date information on your system. Geeklets also have some very useful settings available for you to use so that you can get your ideal desktop layout. For example, you can name all of your geeklets as well as define their position and size and whether you want to keep certain geeklets on top 
as well as if you would like for there to be a shadow. You can also into groups and then enable or disable the groups over here so that you are showing certain groups of beaklets at a time. Uh, groups can be most effective when organizing geeklets based on their category or just their use. Besides this, you can also of course change various settings about the font, such as the font, size, color, encoding, alignment, and more. So this is a quick desktop that I managed to make on my own. Now I'm not very artistic and there are plenty of other people who can do far greater things than this. But thankfully this was fairly easy to set up. All I had to do was create two shell geek here and insert different commands into each one. So this geeklet had this command in it to display the day and the variable behind the date command would tell the date command how to format the date which is important because without that variable it would just display a string for the date which had all sorts of different values in different places and it's not that appealing to look as this command to display the date in month, day, comma, year format. As I said, this is a very simple desktop. However, there are plenty of other people online who have made far better desktops than I have, which you can find all over the internet, such as this subreddit right here dedicated completely to Geek Tool. And some of these desktops are really impressive.